Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habitatillah An abi Mas'ud Uqbata bin Amr Al-Ansari al-Badri رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من دل على خير فله مثل أجره أجر فاعله رواه مسلم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that whoever shows the way of goodness or خير then he will see receive the same reward as a person who does it. And this is in Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam It shows us the importance of da'wah in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala And doing good and inviting people to good That this is a path of patience And it's a path that is immensely rewarded by Allah Azza wa Jal If we take it That even something as simple as a reminder To pray <clears throat> And some benefit with that or some form of da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if someone practices it you'll receive reward and it won't take anything from you so you only gain in fact the one who practices what you preached and what you called them to you'll receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala equal to theirs that is a ni'mah of, of da'wah and that shows us Another fadl, another benefit of the scholars of Islam, that their job, and that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, that the scholars are the inheritors of the prophets. Because they don't leave behind dirhams, you know, wealth, but they leave behind ilm, and he died for the creation. So if we can implement that into our lives. Calling people to good. That's why speak as much good as you can. Advise your brothers and sisters as much as you can to something good. If you busy yourself with good, you have less time for evil. If you busy yourself with being positive, exhibiting that positive, and showing people, يَدِلُّهُمْ عَلَى خَيْرَ تَدِلُّهُمْ عَلَى خَيْرَ To show them goodness. To show them the way. You'll be rewarded from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it won't take away from you anything. You'll be rewarded. You'll get the reward for them acting upon it. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and let us be sources of guidance. We need it. We need this reward from Allah. We need this forgiveness from Allah. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ajr. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And bless us to be sources of khair, not shar. Best to be sources of guidance, not misguidance. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.